film. Okay, so tell me, who are you? What's your name? I am, I am, I am Indah. Or maybe you, you familiar uh, here? In, we are in my studio. Uh huh. Uh, in Srayupot and Terakota in Ubud. What did you do before going to Potri? I work uh, in Flores, Labuan Bajo. And what did you in do there? In Flores. I'm a photographer for traveling. So when people come to Flores, I take a picture for them. I'm a drone pilot there. Yeah, in Flores. It's really nice place because I do island hopping from one island to another island. Tourists, yeah. I worked there for one one year. Mm -hmm. I think, I think one year. Yeah, one year, and then I'm back to Bali because of my band, Unbroken. We should go to Australia because we have tour there on Bridgestone Bridgestone Blues Festival. Mm -hmm. Unbroken is a funk blues. Mm -hmm. Rock, explorative. And what happened in Australia? How long did you spend there? And um, I'm in Australia for one month. Mm -hmm. One month. One month in Perth and also uh, Adelaide. Also in Melbourne. Last stop is Melbourne. Which one was your favorite in Australia? Adelaide. <laughs> I really? love Adelaide. Why is that? Adelaide is really cool. But it's really cold also because of in Bali, like we always uh, have 30, 30 or 32 degrees, and in Australia it's 20, 20 degrees. <laughs> it's really cool because of I allergic with cold. <laughs> so yeah, new experience in Australia. After after Australia, back again to Bali, and then we have COVID. Mm -hmm. I lost my job. I cannot go to. Uh, Komodo Island or Flores Island because of yeah there is no tourist so what I should do there so I stay in Bali and my father has he owned this company and he still used the the old way to promoting it I told my fa my father just give it to me so I can handle it before I I studied in Java in Yogyakarta communication and I think I am capable enough to do the promotion so yeah. I just take over the, the company. My father just enjoy painting now. Also, I am the one and only in in this family can make the the pottery. I just learn how to to run this business, how to make a a pottery from YouTube before, and and then I make this studio. Before we just bought the pottery in here from another another buyer and then my father just uh, painted so he just he is a painter and he just paint all the terracotta after back from australia i tell my father that i will handle this this company srayu i i remember my father said like you cannot be bigger than now because you don't have any basic from pottery. I said like, okay, one day I will, I will, I will buy all of your, all of your words. I open YouTube and then I try to watch from YouTube how to make, how to make a pottery. Yeah, I learned from that because of my father cannot teach me because of he don't know how to make it. So the only thing that can help me is YouTube. One, two months I learned from YouTube and then I decide to buy uh, this wheel. Yeah, this wheel. This wheel and then keep practicing. Still from YouTube. Keep practicing until now. Until I, I think I can open a studio and then I can teach everybody too. The first workshop that I open in here is not pottery class but drawing class. So I find a staff, I teach them how to manage the drawing class. When the drawing class run, I also keep learning how to be a professional in this job. I find someone that already in this industry, I taught him to work with me too. I run this business with, with Pak Made, 
after I open the class, I just realized that there are a lot of opportunity that I can make from this. I have poetry class, I have drawing class, and also I rent my studio for photo shoot because some couple that want to do pre-wedding, they just want photo like gosh movie maybe? Like they do, oh my love. <laughs> And I help them and I rent my studio for that. People who did photo shoot in here, mostly Indonesian. Uh, they are from, not from Bali, but from Jakarta and Surabaya. Bali is one of their list to make a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. And Serayu is one of that place. Like also, they want to take a picture at the colorful pots downstairs. And when they come here, they just look at our social media. So from the social media, the photographers think that, I think th this is a good idea if we have a shoot like a gosh movie in Srayu. So that's why after after that, that customer say that, and I was like, okay, this is opportunity uh, beside a workshop. Yeah. So yeah, and, and then and then I just ran my studio for the photo shoot. What is the platform in social media that you use I the most? I only use I only use Instagram and website. Just it. So Instagram is very popular in Indonesia. I noticed. Very popular in Indonesia, and also uh, I forgot TikTok also. Yeah. When I ask my customer, from where you know Surayu? Oh, from TikTok. Oh, okay. I need to be more consistent making content on yeah. TikTok. TikTok and Instagram. That one is If really if bad. now uh, somebody would like to start something with social media starting with promotion, what would be your advice on how to use it? A lot of information you can you can got from that platform like from Instagram or from TikTok. So you can do research what is the best value, who is your target, and what kind of business that you want to run. As long as you have Wi-Fi, good Wi-Fi, yeah. and good data to access the internet, use it and you can get a lot of from that. With, with, your, with your concept and your idea, you prove one more time that even in a situation like COVID, it is possible to grow, it's possible to make a business that helps to be successful. But the key is to be curious, yeah. to be creative. You should keep moving. You cannot stay at home only. Stay and scrolling and then just do nothing. People are scrolling their phone constantly. They are in their mobile Useless. phone all day. But using your phone to learn is the same action, the same movement you do when you scroll through TikTok, but you do it for building something, yeah, for creating something, to build something, for learning something. So you don't need more effort, you don't need more energy. You do exactly the same. You stay on your bed, on your sofa, yeah. on a chair, and you continue to scroll exactly. up and down. But then you learn. And if you are a little bit curious, then you can even do stuff like this and Just create a business and make money. I mean, like you should, you should, you should use the platform, all the digital platform, wisely. Yeah. Just take the good thing and leave the bad thing. At least you are consistent with what you do. Because of the consistent is the key. I would say on those beautiful words, thank you very much. Thank you, Ayan. I can invite anybody who is interested about getting dirty Keep hands, moving. dirty pants, and having fun time to and come And also here. dirty mine. <laughs> dirty mine, of course, because <laughs> there are a lot of pottery that we don't want to know what the inspiration was. <laughs> but you mentioned the movie Ghost, so I can imagine that many people coming here have other thoughts than yeah. just having a cup of coffee. <laughs> and then they just look like, oh my love. Yeah. Great. Thank you very oh, much. And I hope people will know you for real, in real Thank life. You. Come here to discover your place, because it's really cute and uh, it's in a nice place for people who never been to 
Bali and never been to Ubud, this place is just magical. You're close to the rice fields, the traffic is kind of tricky sometimes, but people are nice, friendly, the food is good. And this girl here, she's kind of crazy, but she's worth it. So have a good day, everybody. Thanks for have watching. Have a good day. Thank and you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye bye. And don't forget, subscribe, like, subscribe. share. Subscribe. Yes. Bye. Bye.